modify that so one inherited uh, role can have uh, some other inherited roles also like it's a uh, it allows So this is how we will modify uh, once the role is created. So then the next topic is uh, resource roles for auto assignment. Okay. Uh, see, now uh, for assigning uh, roles to users, Right. So if we take an example of uh, this test user. So here we have added um, three roles. So I need, uh, if I want to add, I need to go to the, each user and I need to add uh, these three roles one by one. So it, it is difficult, right? So, and uh, we might also miss uh, what roles we need to add. So if we can automate this by selecting, um, just if we select a sales representative role, so automatically this, all the required roles for that role will be added. If I select manager, so then all the roles that are relevant for man sales manager role will get added. So we will see that approach and uh, here auto provision will say whether it is added manually or through this automated process. If it says yes, uh, then it is automated. No, it is added manually. So to, uh, to, to create that or to, um, so first we will go to setup and maintenance. So in manage users, if you remember, we have a, a field called a resource resource role. So go to users and security and uh, uh, this one, users manage users. Here search for the uh, user. Okay, here I'll just show the, uh, this is not the correct user. Okay, so here we have this resource role. So we can create a, a single resource role like uh, sales rep, okay. So if we just select sales rep and we will define the mapping in one more task. So that will automatically add the roles here. So that auto provision we have from security console also from here, you just auto provision here. Uh, you can see the roles uh, that are going to add. You expand uh, role request. So when you choose sales representative, so it is trying to add these uh, roles automatically. If you select uh, sales manager and if you click auto provision rules, it will add sales manager and custom object administration resource. So that is how this automated uh, roles will be uh, added. So these are job roles and this is resource role. Resource role will have uh, under resource role, multiple job roles will be there and job role will have maybe duty roles and abstract roles or another uh, job roles. Now where we will define this uh, mapping and uh, resource roles is, if you go to uh, uh, here itself, uh, maybe you, you can find manage resource roles. Hit the first task, manage resource roles. So here we can see what are all the available uh, resource roles? Okay, so these are the resource roles. Now I'll click one um, 
I'll create one custom role, CX representative. CX is representative custom. So here also we will give the code. And uh, we need to choose the role type whether this belongs to sales team marketing team or channel sales or partner right so we have different uh, uh, role types here so because this role is related to sales we will choose sales and then uh, we can choose whether this uh, role will be assigned to a lead or a uh, or it is a, just a member or it's a manager or admin so since sales representative mostly will be a uh, member, so we will select member. Uh, so if, if it is a sales manager, so we can select manager here. Then um, click save and click save here. So the, now our resource role is just created. Now we need to define, if I select this resource role, then what job roles I need to assign so that I need to define where I can define that is again, we'll go to uh, one more task, manage HCM role provisioning rules. If you go to here and uh, create a new mapping, you can also set existing mappings using this criteria. So I'll say here, CX sales rep, mapping you can choose the start date end date and the criteria to apply this uh, this mapping so the mapping name is this and the condition here i'm selecting is if the resource role is cx sales representative custom that we just created if the user having this role then what you do uh, assign this roles the first one is resource. Okay. Then the second one is employee. Then the third one is the custom role that we created. CX sales custom. Okay. And uh, these are a few options. Uh, Auto provision will be enabled by default. If you want to, uh, this is for some um, self service. Uh, if I, if you want, uh, if your uh, user wants to request this role uh, by themselves, so then uh, these options will help. If you want any additional conditions like business unit, legal employer, or uh, other HCM uh, types, so you can select that. So now mapping is also created. Now, if I go to the same user from security console, Uh, now click edit. Now I'm trying to remove all these rules. Because um, and I want to uh, run this auto provision rules. Okay, so it is taking the resource role different. So that's why we are uh, we are seeing this many roles. But now let me cancel and change the resource role. To change the resource role, um, so we need to search for the user. Okay. 
before that let me run one process to uh, synchronize the search So we were unable to search the uh, the user that we created. So for that, I'm just uh, running this synchronization process. Now again, go to setup and maintenance. This process should complete. Let me try. Manage users. Still not showing. So for now, I'll try a different method. So where I can change the resource role. So I'll explain this tool uh, in detail in the coming sessions. So my resource role is a uh, sales administrator. So I want to change this to a uh, sales representative, the custom one that we created. Okay. I don't have access. Oh, sorry. Let's check in. Okay. So here, uh, what we will do is we will end it. So this is our custom resource role. Okay, and then we will end it the, uh, the previous role, sales administrator. Click save. So the roles that will uh, run, right? So we can also see from, from here. So basically from three places we can see in resource directory, uh, so roles to be provisioned. So if we expand this role request, okay. 
let me save and close and come back again. Somehow it is not yet reflecting. We'll try from security console. Now again, I'll search the user. Go to the user. And add auto provision roles. So there is some issue with auto, uh, the mapping. So that is not, so that's why it is not reflecting. So we'll review. We'll again go to the manage resource roles. We'll see what is, uh, why, why this uh, is not working. We'll go to manage resource roles. So the resource role setup is fine. And then we'll go to HCM role provisioning role. Here we will select CX sales representative custom. We select this. We are seeing correct. Oh, see, this auto provision is unselected. So we'll enable this and we'll save and close. Now, if you go to resource directory or uh, security console, uh, so you you will see the uh, modified roles. You okay, now click edit and add auto provision rules. Now you can see the auto provision rules as per the mapping. Now save and close. So, okay, so this is how the uh, resource roles can, uh, can be used to assign the job roles.